Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, I will show you how do I delete data from SQL Server. So I will show you in with example the different options to delete the data from the SQL Server table. So let's jump to the demo. So when you are working with the SQL Server database, then most of the time you need to delete some existing data from the table. So to delete the data, we have the delete command in SQL Server and uh, the delete command can be used with or without the where clause. So for example, if you need to delete the data that matches a particular condition, then you can put the where clause. Otherwise, you can also delete the data without the where clause as well and that will delete the whole data from the SQL Server table. And you can use the top command as well in the delete query to delete the data. So for example, if you have very huge data like maybe millions of records and you want to delete all records but want to delete in a smaller chunks then you can use the top command here and the data will be deleted in chunks. So sometimes it's required that suppose there is some data on the production server and uh, you can't delete the whole data once because it might lock the table for a very long time and you just want to delete the data in the off peak hours then you can use the top command and you can delete the data using that. So we'll see all these things in this particular example and we'll also see what kind of errors we can get when you will try to delete the data from the tables, those have the primary key and the foreign key relationships. So right now I got this table, currency backup table. And if you see here, so it contains data for different persons, email, currency and gender as well. So if you look at the currency, so we have the data for different currencies. Maybe I can select the different currencies data from here. Uh, let me check like what different currencies we have. Select distinct currency. Okay. So this will show me the distinct currency. So we have the data for three different currencies, ruble, peso and the dollar. So let me try to delete the data for the ruble currency. Okay. So how I can delete that? I can write delete from and the table name. And after the table name, you can put the where clause, which is the optional clause where currency equal to and the ruble. Okay. So what I normally do is like before deleting the data, I just try to convert the delete command into the select command and then I see like how many records will be deleted and which records will be deleted. So instead of delete from, I can write select star from so that I know like these records will be deleted. So when I will execute this delete query, then these 804 records, they will be deleted. Okay. So I can just select this query and I can click on execute. So you can see that 804 records got deleted from this particular table. So this was about deleting the data when we put a where clause. Okay. Now suppose if you want to delete the data just using the top command like you just want to delete the top 100 records then how you can do that. So you can write delete and then top like how, how many records you want to delete for example I want to delete 100 records so I can put delete top 100 and then you can give the table name. So this way it will delete the top 100 records from the table. Okay. So it got deleted top 100 record got deleted from this particular table. Okay. And now suppose if you want to delete all records from the table, then you can write delete and then the table name. So if you just put this one delete table name, so it will delete all records from the table. Okay. So you should be careful like while deleting the records. So sometimes when I delete the data, then I use the begin tran and then proceeded with the either commit or the rollback. So what begin run does, it start a transaction and then you can just delete the data or update the data. And then if you think that the data got updated or deleted correctly, then you can just commit the transaction, which will save the data to the database or you can just roll back the transaction in case if wrong data got deleted, then whatever data was deleted, it will be rolled back. Okay. So let me just show you like how we can use that. So what I can do, I can just execute this one begin run okay and now i can just delete the data so suppose i accidentally deleted these records so right now the table should be empty okay because we ran the delete command but if you think that the data did not get deleted correctly and you want the data back then what you can do you can just run the rollback here so if you will click on rollback then it will roll back all the data that was deleted so it will roll back 1700 and something records so you can see that 1748 records got rolled back. Okay. So this is how you can just uh, do the begin run and then either roll back or if you think that the data was deleted correctly, then you can just execute the commit. Okay. So that, that will save the data to the database. Now let's check the another example. 
where we can have the primary key and foreign key on a table. So here I will create a customers table. We will insert three records into the customer table. Customer ID 1, 2 and the 3. And then we will create the orders table. And we will insert four records into the orders table. And the orders will be from all three customers like customer ID 1, 2, 3. Okay. So let me execute this command. So here it created two tables and inserted some data into those particular tables. Okay. So let me show you the data now. Select star from customers and then select star from orders. Okay, so for some customers we have some orders. Okay, now if you will try to delete the data from the customer table, then it won't let you delete the data because this particular column customer ID it is being used in the orders table here. Okay, so let me just try to delete a record from the customer table. Delete from customers where customer ID equal to one. So for example, I'm just trying to delete this record, John Smith. Okay, so if I execute this one, then this will throw an error that the delete statement conflicted with the reference constant. This one, the conflict occurred in the database is cool and the table is orders. Okay the customer ID. So it is saying that uh, this particular customer ID one, this is being used in the orders table. Okay. So what will be the correct approach is that first we need to delete the data from this particular table, from the orders table for this particular customer ID. And once the data got deleted from the orders table, then it needs to be deleted from the customers table. So first I need to write the uh, delete statement from the orders table. So what I can do, I can write delete from orders where customer id equal to 1 so first the data from the orders table will be deleted okay so it seems like i missed the underscore so now the data from the orders table got deleted okay and now because there is no data for the customer id 1 in the orders table now the data from the customer table will be deleted as well for this particular id customer id 1 okay so now you can see that the delete command ran fine okay so these are some examples like how we can just delete the data from the tables and in case if you need to delete all data from the table then the truncate command is you know is preferred because that's fast and it does reset the identity key and there are some other benefits as well that maybe we can talk in another video so i will share all the scripts that i used here and yeah i think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel, press the bell icon and click on also that you will be notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much.